Hey, welcome back. Today I'm talking more of a deep dive into nozzles for a mechanical fuel injection. And if you got one of these systems, you know, you've used, seen a bunch of these guys, you've probably, you know, shops for different, you know, different sized ones. And anyways, I had uh, run across something that I think you'll find interesting. Uh, we're going to actually repair. It's not really a repair, but we're going to, we're going to adjust one of these to suit our needs. So um, anyhow, we'll jump right into it. Here we go. All right, so let's check out something that I got here. So here's a set of nozzles that I purchased, right? Second hand. Open them up. Check this out. All right, so, you know, there's four lefts and four rights. Uh, we talked about these nozzles quite a bit on one of my previous vids. Uh, maybe video number four, I guess. We talked about the nozzles and we talked about uh, fuel pump and some other stuff but so we've got left hands and right hands it should be four left four right so and of course that is determined by you know this uh you, you know where the nozzle sprays out and hits that deflector some of them go like that in the motor the hose goes up to the barrel valve uh up here and then the ones in the front of the motor they sit like that the hoses come up to the barrel valve this way. So barrel valve is typically in the center of the manifold. Okay, we got that. But watch it, look at this. So I got, laying them out. Okay, and I got those. Let me slide this over a little. Okay, we're good. I got four of these. And, and to be honest with you, I don't know if you call them left hand or right hand. I, I'm not really sure what the, you know, maybe when they spray like this, and they're spraying off to the right. Maybe maybe we call these the right hand ones, but they're anyhow, so there's different ones, right? So then I got this guy. Right? And they're all the same. But what's this shit? Look at this guy. It's like Okay, I've got three of these going this direction, but I got five of them going this direction, right? So, what's up with that? Did I get ripped? Well, yeah, I won't even talk about that. But anyways, um, so, you know, I, I did once a long time ago. I saw a setup a guy had where it was kind of jiggy the way it was set up. And I think they did have a, one, of the, one of the lines went on the back side of the manifold or something and came up from the other, for, to get away from some interference or something. I'm not really sure. So... But anyway, so here I go. I got five and three, right? So we got eight cylinders. So I got to make one of these guys look like this. So we're going to try this. This isn't, you know, this isn't rocket science. Guys build these things. You know, these are manufactured with components. So you've got a, a brass machine housing. Uh, inside there's a little Venturi tube that gets pressed down in there with the size of the orifice. And then this deflector, you know, it's just... It's pressed in, well, it's not pressed, it's soldered in here, right? This is solder. So what I'm going to do, you know, I've, I've had them apart before looking at it, but I never really tried to, to repair a set. But I'm going to uh, heat this up, and we're going to rotate this nozzle part around. We're going to uh, heat this up enough so we can soften that solder and rotate it 180 degrees. So then we'll have four lefts, four rights. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take these, all the inspection uh, caps are out of there, all the little screws. I'm going to set them in my uh, my ultrasonic cleaner and get these cleaned up nice and bright. And then I'll uh, I'll just pick one uh, to make that change on. So uh, so one of these five, I'm going to make look like these three over here. So anyhow, more to come. timer on the ultrasound ultrasonic cleaner let's take a look and see <laughs> that's kind of nasty looking in there in the water and shake these guys off a little bit I'll take them over to the bench all right so They, uh, well, they cleaned up pretty good. That was actually, uh, 
Yeah, I don't see any nasties on them. Of course, these things are all banged up, and these have been around for a lot of years, I guess, but uh, they look pretty clean. So we'll pick one, and uh, we'll figure out a way to clamp it and how to capture that uh, the tip of the nozzle so that we can rotate it when we get it good and hot without damaging it. So uh, back with that in a minute. Okay, so we got them cleaned up a little bit. Um, if you remember on the video I had done previously where I talked about these kind of nozzles, I had actually shown how uh, some of them are canted. Uh, the, the deflectors were canted a little bit so that when you install them in your motor, so you got, here's the, see the center of the intake manifold, you got, you know, two of them going like this and then two of them coming like that. And we talked about uh, the two that are, uh, you know, like some of the layers, one and three, it would be, this one would be kicked up a little bit uh, so that the hoses can be, con the hose can be connected without interfering with number three. And then this one would kick up a tiny bit. So we had verified that by putting a straight edge on the back of the slot. This, the, I'm sorry, the back of the, uh, the, uh, uh, deflector we put a little straight edge on there and we looked at how they would be installed in the motor and this one and eh, it's maybe off a tiny bit but it doesn't look like we'll do all of these right because if I'm gonna make uh, if I'm gonna adjust the one of the five to match the other three I want to make sure that I get it right so let's see this guy here it goes this way so that one's off a little bit. I don't think necessarily it was intentional. But it looks like these are all cut just horizontally or, you know, pretty closely. You know, they're, they're not really candid. At least it's not nearly as obvious as the other ones. These look like they're cut all pretty much straight to me, uh, except that guy. All right, so that guy's kicked up a little bit uh, more than the others. So this is the one I'm going to pick to heat up the heat up the solder here, and then rotate this around to match the left hand side. So I'm going to use this guy here. So this is the one I've selected. So now I'm going to go figure out uh, how I can clamp this appropriately, put enough heat on it. Uh, I don't want to use an acetylene torch because I surely don't want to melt the brass on this, right? Uh, so I'll probably use uh, uh, just my regular little uh, propane gas uh, tank uh, torch. Okay, let me get that set up and we'll see if we can uh, uh, make some sort of a jig or something so we can do this without messing it up. Because I surely, you know, if I ruin this, you know, I don't have a set of nozzles. So, all right, more in a minute. I wanted to make a tool to capture this portion of the nozzle that's soldered into the housing so that when I put heat on this, I can rotate it around without obviously burning my fingers or any of that kind of stuff. So what I did was I took a, a quarter by, I guess it's a half inch uh, aluminum bar stock, uh, and drilled a hole in it. Um, and the reason I'm telling you this is um, some of you guys might want to try this yourself because I've seen a lot of nozzles out there, which are actually, uh, I guess you'd call them down nozzles, where they got a set of nozzles like this, but instead of being lefties and righties, um, they go, like they're like they're made to go in like that and spray down. And so there's eight of them; they all spray down. And those are for uh, when you put the nozzles above the butterflies. So if you find a set of those um, that are the right size that you want to use, and maybe you want to put them below the butterflies. You know, this is a way that you, you well, we're going to attempt it. I hope it works. To rotate those around and, and basically turn them into uh, four left and four right. So what I did was I took this bar. I drilled a hole in it. Now, I started with, a, let's see, a 18, 30 seconds hole. Well, it's just, it's too loose. I didn't, 
I didn't like that at all. So I went down to uh, 1764 and made a hole, and it was too small. So what I had to do is I, I, I and there's nothing in between, because um, this measures, uh, let's see what we have there, uh, point, uh, 0.268, and this drill bit was like 0.262, I think, or something like that. Um, but so anyhow, I had to take a little baby file, just this little, really tiny guy, and just kind of dress the inside of that hole, obviously real carefully, you know, so I try to keep it round, so that this fits very, it fits snugly in there. Snugly, there you go. And then, of course, I drilled and tapped for a 632 screw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, losing my focus there, sorry. What I'm going to do is I'll, I'll rotate that around to, and I can use my straight edge in the back of the groove there to make sure I get it exactly where I want it, right? I can feel it so that it's parallel this way. So it's parallel this way. Sock the screw down, right? And then when I put it in the vise, I put heat on it, I'll have a reference. I can rotate this around 180 degrees, and then my nozzle will be uh, match the left-hand three that I have over here. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I'm going to get the torch out here in a few minutes, and we're going to give it a try. I hope it works. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Wish me luck. I'm gonna put some heat on here. Rotate this around. So, sort of take my time. Go gradually. Look at that. Let that baby cool. I don't want to disturb anything. <laughs> it was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. All right. We'll let that cool off. Check it out and see what we got. All right. Okay, the thing's cool off now. I let it sit about... It didn't take very long, but I let it sit like five minutes or so to cool off. And if you didn't, you didn't see it in the video, but this is what I used for, for the heat of it. You know, one of these burns uh, just a propane tank. So, um, anyway, so let's check out what we have here. Uh, I'll loosen the screw up. Take the nozzle out. First thing I want to do is look for damage from the screw. And there's a little... Little tiny mark, you get witness markings. Yeah, sorry about the focus. Um, the witness mark, you can see where it touched, but you know, it wasn't strong. I didn't pinch that or anything like that. So, so that part's in good shape. So, now let's look at the solder. The solder all looks here. I'm gonna zoom in on it, maybe. Maybe not. There you go. So, let me show you that witness mark there. That I was talking about. There's, there's a little tiny scratch on there. So that's not a big deal. Now the solder looks like it's uh, it's all the way around. We didn't affect that. So the big thing now is let's look inside of that baby and make sure the solder didn't plug up the orifice. So, so I got a little pen light like I did before. We'll shine it up in here in my other video and we'll see what we can see through there. An inspection hole. And look at that. There. I think you can see that, right? I think we're golden. All right. So now, what do I got? I got. Uh, <laughs> I got four lefts and I got four rights. So this job turned out pretty good. Anyways, that's. Uh, you know, you just got to put a little, it's, again, it's, this is not rocket science, right? You know, these things are manufactured. You know, you're smart enough to be able to figure out how to undo them and, you know, fix them or change things around if you need to. Anyhow, 
I hope it helps somebody. So there you go. That was kind of an interesting way that we were able to we were able to change that nozzle, turn it into a lefty. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting. I wasn't really sure if it was going to be successful, and so you learn just what I did. That's the first time I've ever done that. So uh, it turned out pretty good, I think. Um, now I'm not going to send these in to have them float or any of that kind of stuff. This is not going into a motor like that. So, um, but we did verify that there wasn't any obstruction. And um, I will take my microscope and look down in there and just to get a better look, make sure there's not something, you know, going on in, in the, the rest of these eight nozzles. Because I did buy them secondhand. Um, and, you know, you saw how I got them. And I, I made them work. So hopefully the information that I've uh, shared, you know, you learned it with me. It's the first time I ever did it. So uh, hopefully the, my, my work is helpful to somebody out there. All right, we'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.